Hi, my name is David Murray, one of the engineers here at Smurfs of North America, and this video will focus on the AZM 400, which is a safety rated motor driven bolt lock system which functions on a bi stable operating principle. This Smurfs electronic device is capable of achieving in category 4, performance level E per ISO 13849, as well as SIL level 3 uh, per IEC 61508. The I1 and I2 option for an individually coded actuator allows it to be used in a high level coding application per ISO 14119. In addition, the two channel inputs allow for both the interlock function and the guard lock function to be used in a performance level E, also per ISO 14119. Uh, let's take a closer look at the AZM 400. Looking at the AZM 400, you'll notice that it is a robust switch with its aluminum die cast housing. With the Schmerzel RFID technology, you have your three LEDs for quick and easy switch status and error codes. In case of having to override the bolt lock function in case of emergencies or special operating modes, options allow for an emergency T handle located on, located on, on the inside of the hazardous area, or by default under this cap is a triangular knob, which requires the use of the accessory AZM key. The third option is only for the two connector version, which allows you to use a separate signal from an external backup battery supply. Also available with the two connector version is the addition of a second auxiliary PMP output. As we look at this switch, you'll see that there's going to be your RFID tag, and here the bolt is extended fully from the switch. And again, your RFID tag, the bolt fully retracted into the switch. We look at the actuator key, you have your RFID tag, and when we look at the misalignment, you can have one to seven millimeters or four millimeters in the X or Y direction. So you have a wide range of misalignment. Uh, one actuator for any type of switch. Again, you have your I1 and I2 options as well. I1 is for injury coding. You can teach the actuator into the switch one time, one time only. The I2 coding option, if you lose or damage the actuator, you can reteach a new actuator in. Also available, available for accessories is the mounting set. With the mounting set, you get a bracket for the switch and the actuator and all necessary uh, nuts and bolts. So let's look at the AZM 400 mounted onto some gates. What we have here is the AZM 400 on a sliding gate as well as on a hinge gate. And if we go ahead and lock the AZM 400, you will get 10,000 Newtons of holding force. And if you look at the actuator bolt, you see that it is not centered. And that is done on purpose with the demo to show that the bolt can withstand lateral forces. It can withstand up to 300 Newtons of lateral force. A nice feature for the AZM 400, I'll go ahead and misalign the door and I'll attempt to lock it. You see that it does two attempts. It does not continue that first attempt because there is some type of blockage on that actuator bolt. Uh, not continuing that first attempt helps protect the switch as well as any parts of the machine and reduces the amount of error that you will get. If we look at the LEDs, we get errors and statuses of the switch. Um, we have a blinking LED, that means that the door is closed. Solid LED means that the uh, gate is locked. It is a bi-stable switch. So right now, our switch is locked. And if we remove power, our switch remains locked. Also, in the opposite, if we have the switch open and we lose power, our switch remains open. Uh, what we have here on the hinge the demo is the two connector version, which means that we have the option of having that external release with a power supply. So if we go ahead and lose power, our door is locked. And how can we open that? by applying, applying 24 volts from an external 
power supply. A nice key feature for the AZM 400. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Uh, data sheets, instructions, CAD files can be found online. And of course, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to give us a call. Smurfs USA and Smurfs Canada.